evening, students. I think it's the only reason you do the cruise is so they can have people scream that at you. Pretty right? much. Uh, will you all please uh, give give a proper uh, honorary shout thing, whatever you call that? I, I, I haven't eaten yet. No, that and a salute to your red leader. We may have lost the battle, but we will win the war. Well said, red leader. You know what yellow leader said? No. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Yellow leader. <laughs> All right, no, yo, do not start soaking this shit. These guys are wired enough as it is. I'm a, I'm a shit stoker. <laughs> Coach Cruz, Jesus. Yeah. It is time for morning announcements. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tomorrow we are in Cabo San Lucas. This is a tendering port. For those of you who've never been on a cruise before, that means we park the ship a little ways away from the pier because if we try to drive it all the way to the pier, it will run aground and then tip over sideways just like in the end of Speed 2. <laughs> so instead, you'll get off of this large ship and get onto a smaller boat that will take you to the pier where you will step into another smaller boat that you will walk around in. I don't know. The smaller boats and eventually you'll be in a boat that's just the shape of you. <laughs> It's a very tight, form-fitting boat. <laughs> you're wondering why we're asking for all of your measurements. Yeah, we're actually we're gonna for. we're gonna fit you for the cast of that boat tonight while you're sleeping. Uh, it's part of the crafting track. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be your own knitted boat. Your own knitted boat. It's going to sink immediately. <laughs> in case so hopefully you can swim. In case you're wondering why all the knitters on board have been looking very stressed lately, <laughs> they have to yarn bomb 1,500 people. <laughs> Fortunately, we've given them carbon fiber yarn. Yeah. <laughs> so, the reason I mention all of this is, if you have booked a shore excursion through Holland America tomorrow in Cabo, you should follow the instructions as far as meeting your tender that you should have received with your tickets for your shore excursion. If you have not received those tickets, please contact the shore excursion's desk ASAP. That means as soon as possible. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Oh, question, question. What if the ticket says to meet on the ship? What if the ticket says to meet on the ship? Meet on the ship. Meet on the ship. <laughs> Asked and answered, sir. Yeah. Did you book? Did you book the excursion to the Vista Lounge by any chance? <laughs> Your best bet. If the if the uh, directions are at all confusing to you, contact the shore excursions desk and ask them, not us, because do we look like we know anything about the shore excursions? Although if it says meet on the ship, ignore that. <laughs> but you're really, are, we on, are we on the ship? <laughs> you guys... I don't know, man. I feel like I've been here for ten years. <laughs> on uh, this stage. So, uh, if you have a short excursion, follow those directions. Otherwise, if you want to get off the ship early, we get in around 11 o'clock. Uh, then you need to follow the directions on the letter that you will receive tonight during turndown service about the disembarkation process. We're not going to go through it now because you are all adults who theoretically can read. Yeah. It is, but basically it is not a scrum towards uh, the first available tender as if the ship were sinking and there's only one lifeboat left. In fact, there is a, ticket, a tendering ticketing process. Uh, that they ask you to follow uh, if you want to get off early until approximately 1,200 of you get off the ship. At that point, it just becomes a, a fr free thing. But read the, read the goddamn letter. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you on the ship tomorrow. Yeah, whatever you do, meet on the ship. That's certainly the first step. Coach Cruz has a happy affirmation for you now. Yes! We heard this morning from the folks at Terminal Operations where we embarked, and the report was that the sea monkeys were the most amazingly friendly and instruction-following people they have, I think, ever dealt with. So thank you. You are well loved. So thank you, sheeple. <laughs> yeah, thanks for not having any ideas of your own. <laughs> because if nerds know anything, it is how to wait in a goddamn line and go where they're told. 
It's just at the end of that line, you guys signed your autograph this time. <laughs> yeah, and you paid a lot more for it, too. <laughs> Jokes on you, suckers. <laughs> okay, next item. Uh, Sign-ups are now available for the World Builders Gaming Fundraising event, the celebrity gaming event that is happening tomorrow evening in the uh, dining room. Uh, Sign-ups for that are now available at the Helper Monkey info desk on deck one in the atrium. Uh, if you are interested in taking part in that, uh, you can go to sign up there. I already talked to you about the tendering, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in the Explorations Cafe, uh, which is upstairs, uh, the place where you get the coffee. You can feel free to go get the coffee and use the internet stations. We ask that you not linger and have conversations and scream at each other about how awesome the coffee is. Because it is supposed to be the quiet area, we ask that you respect the, the, the quiet, gentle tones of the room. Yeah, it needs to be very gentle. <laughs> oh god, no. No, that's not a meme. Do not make that a meme. That's <laughs> not going to be the 2017 meme. I had forgotten about it until now, and now I have it in my head again. <laughs> Disgusting image of John Roderick stroking two cats at once on the undersides of their bellies. Some, something's got to power this boat. <laughs> Listen to, the, listen to the, all the comments section. Correct. I believe it was six, sir. <laughs> Dr. Colton, you shorted him four cats. <laughs> At first it was two cats, later it was six cats. I'm talking about the canonical, the initial. So don't you try to fucking um actually him. I don't care about that retcon six cat bullshit. <laughs> two cat Colton. <laughs> Speaking of communicating with each other, uh, in case you have not seen yet, in the Half Moon Room, which is uh, one of the meeting rooms up on three, just past the shops, there are a number of easels and easel pads set up if you want to leave messages for each other or let people know when you're planning an, an, an informal, like, hey, I'm going to play Settlers of Catan if you want to join me up on the Lido deck at three or something like that, or you just want to write nasty things about Gold Group. Or no. No, you know what? No, let's make this positive. You're not saying nasty things about the gold team. You're talking about how awesome the red team is. And you can unite, you can unite in your mutual hatred of the blue team. Those motherfuckers. Or you can write nasty things about the gold team. <laughs> uh, Cruz Montera has asked, if you are a helper monkey willing to hang signs, please meet at... A yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Fat chance. <laughs> Good luck with your signs. If you are a helper monkey willing to hang signs, please meet at 11 p.m. in the Half Moon Room. Finally, the happy hour, which was scheduled for 9.30 tonight in the Pinnacle Bar in your schedule. Turns out, y'all love to fucking drink. <laughs> so we're putting it in a bigger bar. It is now going to be on the Lido uh, deck bar in the chips by the pool there. So that you can get really loaded and fall into the pool. Please do not get drunk and vulnerable. <laughs> oh, now all of a sudden you're Mr. Rules. That is the end of morning announcements. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's day 105 of our 180-day cruise. <laughs> Glad that most of you are still with us. Uh, we'd like to kick things off tonight by introducing uh, two uh, stand-up comics that we really love, Rhea Butcher and Cameron Esposito.